um, sub rows. So let me explain what that is. So if I have my, um, my accounts collapsed or expanded like this, okay, you see how they're um, expanded or collapsed on demand, sub rows, what it does is it expands it and collapses it for me, okay? Now, remember, you do have a collapse and expand button already in uh, QuickBooks Online. If I go to expand, all the accounts are blown up. All the sub accounts are being shown. The problem is if I hit collapse, it closes them, but it also closes the ability to open and close each one on demand, which I love. So if I wanna come in here, I wanna say, you know what? I wanna collapse just this one. And I wanna scroll down and collapse just this one and, and, and collapse just this one. So not pressing the collapse button allows me to manually choose which ones I wanna collapse or expand. However, sometimes I wanna collapse everything but one. So it'll take me forever to sit there and like go one, two, three, like it just take a long time. So this sub rows, what it does is basically a, a little macro that like goes in for you and clicks them for you. So when you go to sub rows, it goes in there and, and, and collapses everything for you. It's still in expanded mode, but it, it macroed a, a, a collapse. And then I can go in and say, you know what? The only one really I wanna expand or blow up is you know selling expenses. So now you have a report that's basically exactly what you want. Everything collapsed but one thing. Cool. So that's essentially essentially what it is. It's just a macro to collapse and expand sub accounts or sub rows or sub rows when it's on um, expanded mode. Because once you hit collapse, um, no longer you can um, collapse and expand the accounts themselves. But the cool thing is that the sub row knows. Okay, so what you're trying to do is collapse and expand the account types, right? Because account types don't get collapsed when it's not um, uh, in collapse mode. So it's a really, really cool feature called uh, sub rows.